The Supreme Court, founded in 1789, is the judicial branch of the US government. That means it's the highest court in the US, and its main role is to be a sort of guardian of the Constitution. It hears appeal cases that relate to the Constitution and has powers to prevent or strike down laws that are unconstitutional. To give you a sense of just how important it is, it often can decide on matters of policy that affect daily life for millions of Americans. For example, in 1973, a woman was banned from having an abortion in Texas, but the Supreme Court ruled that the constitutional right to privacy extended to this issue. And that's why women in the US are allowed to have abortions today. More recently, in 2015, the Supreme Court made same-sex marriage legal. No longer may this liberty be denied, Justice Anthony M. Kennedy wrote about the decision. The decisions are generally made by nine justices, who are appointed by the president whenever there is a vacancy. This has led to the accusation that they are essentially politicians in fine robes, since they tend to vote broadly in accordance with party lines. This means it'll often come down to a tight 5-4 split. One of the most controversial Supreme Court decisions was during the 2000 presidential elections, where it all came down to the state of Florida. George W. Bush was leading by less than 600 votes and the Supreme Court of Florida wanted a manual recount. But the US Supreme Court overruled and voted 5-4 against it, stating it was unconstitutional. And that's what got George W. Bush the presidency. So it is pretty influential, in theory. But in February 2016, one of the conservative judges, Antonin Scalia, died, leaving the court at a 4-4 stalemate. President Barack Obama nominated Judge Merrick Garland in March, but the Senate, currently Republican-controlled, blocked his appointment. Majority Leader of the Senate Mitch McConnell said, this vacancy should not be filled until we have a new president. With Donald Trump's historic win, the future of the Supreme Court is in his hands.